Hello everyone and welcome back to Art with Abby. So I hope everyone's had a lovely half term, a lovely week off and done lots of fun things. I have been sharing some of the old tutorials that you could have had a go at if you hadn't already or done the same one but put a different spin on it. You could have done different patterns, different coloured animals. But today we're going to continue with the hand theme and we're going to be drawing some animal, well we're going to, this week we're going to be drawing animals with our hand or somebody's hand and today we're going to start off by doing a flamingo, this very pink flamingo. So our hand is like that. So if you are right handed, you will do it, use your left hand to draw around if you want to make it easier. And if you're right handed, uh, left handed, sorry, you're going to use this hand and I'm left handed. So I'm going to do it this way this time. So you're going to put your hand down and you're going to go all the way around it. And this is creating the body of the flamingo. Like so. So it should look like that. Then you're going to bring it round to do that long neck and curve it around so it's like half of a heart. And then you can straighten it up when you're finished. And then you can add a beak like that and an eye. So it's super easy. Then for the legs, it, they've got very skinny legs, so you're just going to do a line down like that and then this one's going to come out like that. Okay, and then just to make it look like feathers, we're just going to add a bit of a feathery effect. So if you just do lots of things like that, just to add a bit of a feathery effect to your flamingo. And it is as simple as that. And if you want, you could do two. And it makes a nice picture like that. So it's like they've made creating a heart with the next, which is quite cool. So now you're ready to colour in your flamingo. And add. if you want to do it like a normal flamingo, do it pink. I have got an interesting fact for you about the colour of a flamingo. So they are actually born with grey feathers. But they turn pink because of their diet. So the fish, I think they eat shrimps is one of them. The food that they eat actually turns their feathers pink. So if you know any more flamingo facts, let me know. And make sure if you do draw a flamingo, share your pictures in the comments because I would love to see them. And then this week we'll be doing lots more animals using our hands. And if you did the May challenge, so yesterday was the last day. If you have completed the May challenge, um, send me a picture of your sticker chart and I will get your certificate to you, your e-certificate. So thanks for tuning in and see you soon.